Despite what it looks like, this is a road junction. It's known as the California Crossroads. It opened in September 2024, and you'll find it to the south of Wokingham in Finch Hampstead, where the B3106 and B3430 meet. But what of its colourful paint job? It doesn't conform to any of the road marking regulations, whatever they are, yet somehow this has been approved because it's safer, apparently. So what's the deal? Before the remodeling of the California Crossroads, the junction consisted of two mini roundabouts with a few pathways and crossings for pedestrians. It kind of worked, but it was a bit of a messy junction with shop access roads with car parks and a petrol station adding to the complications. For reasons we'll get onto in a bit, it was decided that this junction needed an upgrade, but rather than add on a few more lanes and some traffic lights, they took a different approach. The priority of the new junction wouldn't be focused on the motor vehicle, but instead the pedestrian with an emphasis on creating a higher quality environment for the local community. So move over car drivers, this is a road junction designed for the non-motorist and you'll just have to deal with it. Let's take a closer look and the goal is to make life as easy as possible for the pedestrian or non-motorist and to achieve this they've matched the levels of the roads and pathways making access very easy for wheelchair users or bikists, added more crossing points, removed vegetation to create more room, removed car parking, installed vehicle bollards and wherever possible they prioritise pedestrian space. Fair enough, how's it looking for the motorist? At first glance, a complete mess. None of the road markings make any sense. What do leaves on the road mean? Is this even a roundabout? And was that a child I just ran over? You'll be wondering all of this and more as you make your way through the junction, but that's the point. According to the local council, by removing the traditional road markings and signs, it makes drivers more aware of pedestrians and encourages them to give way. Is this legally speaking a pedestrian crossing and a roundabout? F knows. Furthermore, the junction approaches feature pedestrian crossings, of course offering an additional crossing point, but the main goal here is to slow down traffic heading towards the junction, increasing the likelihood of it giving way to pedestrians when at the junction. And there actually might be some truth to this. From a motorist perspective, this junction creates uncertainty, and our usual response in such a scenario is to slow down. If it's not familiar, it's better to make slower progress, and the result, in theory, is that traffic moves far slower than it would have before, creating a safer environment for everyone. One. But does it work? From a non-motorist perspective, yeah, it probably does. But I have a feeling this will be short-lived because if we start to look into why this junction was remodeled in the first place, we begin to realize that before long, it probably won't work for anyone. To the west of the California Crossroads and Finch Hampstead will eventually be a three and a half thousand house garden village known as Arborfield Green. And planning permission was granted for this development on the basis that the property developer coughed up a load of money to upgrade the local infrastructure, such as the California Crossroads. Of course, they paid up and with a little bit of a top up from the local council, the costs were covered to remodel the crossroads, which is probably why the council decided to take a different approach when it's mostly not your money. Anyway, the reason it will all go tits up, I think, is because the new crossroads, as lovely as it is, is a nice upgrade suitable for a village of, say, 1,000 people, which we'll call, I don't know, Finch Hampstead. But it's not a junction design suitable for another few thousand people or vehicles, so I think you'll end up in a situation where the new junction design, whilst much better for pedestrian movement, will be overwhelmed, ending up worse off, and there's no point making it easier for pedestrians if there's motor vehicles in the way. Maybe I'm wrong, though. After all, it's well documented that leaf patterns alleviate traffic problems Problems, but they do make me wonder why we couldn't have just had normal road markings and signs. Do what you like with the junction, by all means, keep the coloured leaves if you like. They add a nice bit of colour to an otherwise dreary piece of tarmac. But the normal road signs and whatnot would have been fine. It's not like there's rules and regulations for such things. And I bet it won't be long before every council up and down the country start creating unique community orientated junctions just because they can. In the meantime though, California Crossroads is open for business and certainly offers a unique experience where whether driving or on foot. Things I like are the addition of some colour. I think we should do that everywhere. But I dislike the lack of traditional road signs and markings. Why can't we just have the pretty colours with the normal road stuff? It would make life a lot easier. Thanks for watching. None of the lorries can fit through there. In the meantime, though, California bullshit, man, bullshit, man. Things I like are the addition of some colour. I think we should do that everywhere. But I dislike the wind.